Simon Pegg, welcome to Love Film. Nice, nice to be to here. Have you here. Um, so, at the beginning of the film, we see you leave um, a very beautiful and very pregnant Tandy Newton at the altar. How crazy is your character, Dennis? He's got to be the most crazy person ever, really. That's <laughs> slightly... I think it's less believable than Lord of the Rings, <laughs> that whole storyline. Uh, yeah, he's a nutter, but he's kind of... His reasons for doing it aren't entirely selfish. I think, you know, the, the thing... It's, t it's tough with a character like that, who does something like that, to make him sympathetic, but in a weird, twisted kind of way, I think he feels that she would be worse off if they go through with this, and... You know, he's obviously wrong, <laughs> but um, I think in, in the moment then he thinks, oh, you know, I'm going to be doing her a favour by doing this. I mean, how much training did you do for this? I mean, had you ever done a spinning class before or thought <laughs> about a marathon or anything like well, that? Well, I came off the, I, I came right into this after a hot fuzz, so I was like in peak physical condition because <laughs> I'd got into shape. So um, I, they encouraged me to sit on a sofa and eat donuts for as long as I could, just so, you know, I had to wear a fat suit in the end because... I wasn't. Did, yeah, I thought you might have done, because you had a, you had a little Yeah, I had a latex fat suit, which was fine for number ones, but really awkward for number two. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a particular scene um, where we see you drinking a pint of eggs. Yes. Is that for real? Did you do yeah, that? Yeah, I did. I thought, in fact, what I thought I'd do, I thought, right, I'll do this, and I'll down it, and I'll really impress the crew. I got one mouthful, and it was like drinking snot. <laughs> and I suddenly, as I gobbed up that hideous mixture of albumin and yolk, I thought, Sylvester Stallone... You're a great man. Because he did it. He, he did it in one. And it is literally like, just goo. Ugh. It looks like snot. It is. Yeah. Yeah. How much running did you do during the film? Loads. <laughs> I was always running. Every day. But, it, but fortunately, because I was playing a sort of slobby guy who couldn't run very well, I didn't have to run fast. <laughs> I mean, have you been inspired now? Do you think you'll get on the boards and do a marathon? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> yeah? No way. <laughs> <laughs> I think of a better way to spend a Sunday morning. Okay. Uh, no, maybe. I kind of, I kind of, just to see what it's like, you know, would be interesting. It's quite an impressive feat to do. I mean, yeah, you can't. I mean, I run, but I, I've never run that distance. Um, here at Love Film, we obviously we love film, and in all through your kind of TV series and your mm. films, you referenced various other films. I mean, are there sort yeah. of top three films you could put in your list? I would probably say. Uh, I'm not going to say Star Wars because it's kind of boring because I'm, I'm in my 30s and obviously as a, as a young man I was exactly that right age and it's been in my work really. Everyone kind of knows it. But I would say probably Raising Arizona, Taxi Driver and Dawn of the Dead, the Romero original. Brilliant. So what's up for you next after this? I've just finished a film called How to Lose Friends and Alienate People uh, which I shot in here and in New York. Um, I'm just about to start writing a new film with Nick Frost. Well we're actually start rewriting it which will go into production next year. And there's a couple of really exciting things which I can't say anything about, but cool. it's all go. Brilliant. Well, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Nice to talk to you too. <laughs>